Hey gang, Scott here, continuing our march through Luminar AI tools. We're in the creative group and we're checking out the mystical tool in this video. Mystical adds a kind of a dreamy glow quality, but it does so a little bit differently than the glow tool, which we'll get to. But uh, I wanna run down the sliders for you, show you an example of how mystical works. Uh, really quick, if you like videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. And if you are thinking about getting Luminar AI, adding to your toolkit check the show notes i have an offer code there that will save you a little bit of money so let's have a look at mystical mysticals down here in our creative group and let me open up the controls we have three main controls amount shadows and smoothness and like many of the controls in lunar until you've added an amount the other things are grayed out so let me add an amount i'm just going to push this all the way to the right so you can see what happens on that photo there right it gets this very dreamy very, uh, in this case, quite cinematic because of the, the nature of the subject kind of look there. But it's, um, it's pushing a glow into the bright areas. You'll also notice that contrast is being increased quite a bit, right? The underbelly of those clouds gets dark. The floor of the valley gets very dark. And that is all done with this one slider. We have some control over it. Now, I'll push this all the way over to the right so we can see what these other sliders do. Now, you notice I pushed that amount over there. The shadows got very dark, especially on the floor of the valley. Well, we have some control there as well. We can open the shadows up if it's gotten too deep or pull them back. Smoothness is an interesting one. Smoothness is like the softness of the glow. I'll push that even farther. You can see it gets even dreamier, even you know more ethereal. Now look at the sunbeams here. As I pull this back, the sunbeams get tighter, right? So that's an interesting option. It's like um, almost like returning detail. Uh, it's really really softening the amount of like the 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 glow radius on things but you can think of it as keeping some crispness. And for a scene like this, having those sunbeams be a little crisper, kind of nice. All right, let's, um, let's return that to its defaults, add a little bit of an amount. So we can look at the one other area in Colorize. It's kind of a little bit of a misnomer. It's not so much like color tinting. It's just, you know, what do you want to do? I, mean, I guess you got color tinting with warmth, but you can either add more saturation. If the colors for any reason get washed out, you can add saturation. You can also give it a, a muted feel. If I push that amount all the way up there, you can see a little more, especially in the blues and the, uh, the, the sky there. You can, you can downplay those, you can leave it alone, and you have your warmth control. Make the scene warmer, make the scene cooler. But notice that that warmth, it's, um, it's not quite just a color tint, right? It's not just throwing you know, yellow everywhere. Look at the underbelly of the clouds compared to the bright parts of the sun, right? The brighter parts are getting that warmth right away. I have to push a little farther before I sort of see that creep into other areas in the scene. Um, so for this photo here, you know, how would I uh, ultimately uh, dial this in? Uh, the amount there, that's going to be too much for my taste. I tend to like more subtle types of, uh, of looks. Um, maybe open the shadows some. And I did like what it was doing with that, uh, that crispness on the sunbeam. So maybe something like that before and after. Just adding enough ambiance. And uh, let me zoom in here because this is important to notice. Before and after. One more time. Before and after. I'm not losing very much detail here, right? The softer things that are out here is what's getting the glow. Before and after. So that's a nice feature of Mystical. It's got some intelligence there. You're not going to just completely smear away detail unless you push that amount slider really, really far. So that is the Mystical tool. It is quite useful on landscapes. Uh, I, I will use uh, it um, not liberally, but uh, judiciously with my landscape photos. A little bit can really add uh, an extra, uh, extra ambiance to your photo. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.